hello and welcome once again this is the car repair hub youtube channel consider subscribing and leaving a like and also don't forget to hit the bell icon to get any notification in case we upload a new video today we have a 2015 mercedes-benz c300 customers complain is the airbag one light is on on the dashboard so let's go and figure this out together so customers complain confirmed front left malfunction service required okay so i've done a quick scan so this is the circuit is talking about so the code we were having is a b007913 active and stored now it's active and stored because i've found a problem the connection that was having a problem so the script for the emergency tensioning retractor the belt and fitting driver driver side has a malfunction the circuit is open so this is the the retractor this is the retractor over there that's the plug going to it that's the connector so it's with the seat belt and it can it, it can uh retract the seat belt to be very tight in an emergency that's what it does so this car is having a lot of airbags when we talk of airbags the mercedes benz the german cars and any luxury car they have a lot of airbags now almost the basic cars even the the normal cars like the corolla they have more than six airbags they have the curtains we have the driver side the passenger side the sides the pillar a pillar b pillar c all have airbags so now airbags is now the standard of the system so this car has a lot of airbags so if you want to check to see which side is really giving you the problem then you come here you need to go to the live data as you are the live data then you check out uh, the sensors let's check the sensors no it's not sensors please is it ignition circuits yeah ignition circuits so you can see these are the the airbags and this way you can get anything concerning the airbags or the seat belts if you are diagnosing a problem with the seat belt so this is the airbag for the driver and the front passenger sides and this is the belt force limiter and this is the what emergency tensioning retractor so our code was emergency tension tensioning retractor so let's go that place so if you come here then you are looking at the resistance the resistance is supposed to be 2.7 ohm if it is working perfectly 2.7 ohm or 2.5 ohm so we are going to look for a resistor that has the same 2.5 or 2.7 or 2.8 ohms so that we replace it in you put it into the circuit and everything should just work perfectly so you see this is our problem the driver side anchor fitting tensioner so you see now the resistance is at 255 ohms 255 ohms so we are going to use a resistor of 2.7 ohms that when you put it in the circuit the reading should come to 2.7 ohms then it's going to recognize it like the circuit is perfect so that you can turn off the light this retractor if you want to buy it uh, unless you import it or you buy it from somewhere so let's go ahead and we make the connection there i'll show you what the live data shows again light is on so i'm going to make the connection very good then we'll see if the light goes out stay tuned this is the car repair hub and so let me show you what is happening in a minute so this is my resistor over there so watch what happens when i make the contact so now i'm connecting it it's consistent so when you connect it across the circuit it's going to act like the uh the retractor is fine so the airbag light is going to go off so as you can see now that can watch the screen you see now it's at 2.7 ohms so let me remove it you see now the value changes again so if we, if it is at the two then everything should work perfectly so i think the least value i'm seeing is 2.4 so 2.4 ohms above to 2.8 will do i'm seeing 2.92 so let's go ahead and make the connection then you will see that the airbag light actually clear out So now the connections are done correctly what we need to do now is go back to scan it again 
the light is still on. Yeah, the light is still on. Until we clear the coats, the light is not going to go off. So let's go back and reread the code. We are going to reread it. Uh, let me go back. Escape. Uh, escape. Now go to trouble code. It should move from active to stop. So now our code is a store. When the code is a store like this, which means now you can clear it. But if it is active and stored, which means you cannot clear it on a Mercedes Benz, when you see active and stored, which means this issue has not been resolved. So no matter what you are going to do, the moment you turn it off and start it again, it's going to resurface. So let's go ahead to clear it. So let me turn off the vehicle first. Turn it off. Okay, now it's on again. So let me erase code. You want to erase? Yes. Okay, now no code detected. I can go back then read trouble codes again to see if everything works. Now no code detected. The light should be out. So, moment of truth. Uh, I don't know. Okay, it's holding on. So let me start the car. So you can see the light actually went off. So that's, that was it for this one. In case you have any airbag issue, you can do it the same way. Look at the ohms that you're supposed to use from the live data. Then you fix a resistor there. It will be okay. But don't do this without the customer's consent. If the customer is interested in just getting the light out, compromising safety, there's no issue with that. Don't do it without the customer's consent. That he may be thinking that you have solved his airbag problem. No, no, you have bypassed it. So this was an airbag bypass. And that's, that's how it is done. So now everything is looking perfect. Thank you all for watching. See you in another video. Bye bye. This is the car repair hub. We have another Mercedes in the workshop.